almost a $35,000 difference in increase if we stayed on the same plan. If you stayed with the same deductible. Okay, that's why we need to Thank you very much. Sorry, but that's fine. Ronnie, you're looking at 327 to 362, right? Yeah, it would be from 327 to 362. Mm -hmm. And if we stayed at the same plan. Yeah. All right, and if we right. go with 35,000, uh, yeah. then we're down to 288. Okay. I'm sorry. That's fine. Thank you very much. And 45,000, we're down to 240. Correct. We go to 55,000, goes down to 210. And this will be the first time that we've changed the specific deductible. And one of the reasons for that is we didn't have hardly any claims until this year on the specific deductible, except when we had two or three years ago, we had some major ones. This is gonna sound bad, but I think those people are no longer here. So we didn't get an increase and we didn't look at changing on the specific. <laughs> and this year we better be and, 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 and two good ones. Yeah, yes. So uh, any of these any of these rates, renewal, alternate one, alternate two, alternate three, are not subject to any more information, not requesting any more uh, claims information, and they affirm effective January one which when you're looking at partially self-funded, and if you look at a quote, look at the bottom, and most of them say, subject to updated claims information and no change in enrollment. And that's even if in this new law in 011, that we may insure our kids up to age 26 years old if they don't have insurance, that doesn't affect this any. Well, it, yes, it affects, the, it affects the reinsurance and it affects the claims. But it's not may, it's shall. <laughs> so that's, I mean, that's the unknown. If you're looking, if you're looking for one reason this one company's getting out of the reinsurance business, is they don't know how many 26 year olds are going to be added to their plan and their reinsurance, and they don't know what unlimited is. I, I have a question, maybe this is one of the deals. But if a one of our children is 26 or under, and they're paying for their insurance where they work. It says they are eligible. They, they, cancel, they cancel their insurance and come underneath the cities, our insurance. No, I, I think if, if the employer is help paying for their insurance, they have to stay on it. But if the employer, let's say, she's my daughter again, 23, she's not married and has two kids, thank my I don't know, it's not. Maybe she should be married and have two kids. But she she works somewhere and they don't provide insurance. She could come on mine, but I've got a five thousand dollar deductible. So I asked my ex wife, would you put her on yours? And she said, Yeah, I feel paid for it. I said, I pay for it. And she, she works. So there's not some kind of dependency test or anything? Well they have to be a, a child. There's no financial dependence is where it used to be. No, absolutely not. They just see what? what my, my daughter's going on my ex-wife's plan. They have to take her January 1, and she goes from paying single to employee plus child, and I'm going to pick up the difference because if she came on my plan, she'd have a $5,000 HSA deductible, and mine would go for the family to 10000 So trust me, I took the math. I'm, stay on, go back to your mom's plan. Because she took COBRA under... Uh, when she graduated from college, she took COBRA, and because it was a good time, she only had to pay 30% of the COBRA rate. So now she's off the... So when will it be decided that they will raise our rates? No, they can't raise your rates. These are firm understanding that national... That's what I asked with this other dependent that may come in on that we don't currently carry. The January well, the, the, the only rate would be, see there where it says, specific premium employee plus child, there's seven times that rate. If somebody comes on, then there will be eight times that rate, and single will go down to 21. So it's it's a given right here. We just don't know how many yet. Yeah, exactly. And and that's what that's what I think that's one of the reasons 
uh, federal insurance is saying we're going to back up and we're going to wait and see what happens because this is under the, the Obama plan, correct? Right? Yes, sir. But all these bottom lines here are, are guaranteed, no more medical questions, and if somebody comes on the plan and they're deathly sick and they're dependent, there's no medical questions, and they start off with the same coverage as the other people. Now, I, remember I've been using my daughter. She's had coverage. If you hire someone new, let's get away from talking about kids. If you hire somebody new, they haven't had insurance for 62 days. They have pre-existing conditions. No problem. So, my daughter hadn't had insurance, and she went on my ex-wife's plan. <coughs> she could have pre-existing, but she's had insurance under COBRA. So, she's not been without it ever. So, she goes on my wife's plan, and they got taken, and she has no good system, and, and she has unlimited maximums, and all the other things. Uh, the good part is, when you look at three years, you have never spent your maximum liability. You've taken it, put it in a non reverting fund, and not given it to the interest. And that's why. Everybody so for likes partially self-funded. Now, I'll tell you another reason why you like partially self-funded. I got ten quotes from reinsurance companies. Gerber, Companion was the best, AUL. I can get quotes from them where if I had you with Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield, I could get one full insured. It was full and true because they won't partially self fund you down to 100 lives. I mean, they, it's like, I think it's a, over 200 they'll do. But I get your quote from United Healthcare, I get your quote from Humana, Principal, some of those companies, and it's fully insured. Here, I can keep, I can tell your employees exact same benefits except for the improvements National Healthcare has made to the market. And I can get 10 quotes. That's why I like partially self funded. I can always create competition. And the, the lowest price is not the lowest price that I showed you the last time it got better. And it is guaranteed. Okay. So this lowest price is a guaranteed low price plus the extra people that we will have to insure from January 1st. Yeah, you just those take you in those numbers and take it across there. That's why I wanted to go over and see what he was looking at because. If your enrollment changes, it goes down, obviously you spend less. If it goes up, you spend more. But remember, these these 26 and under people would become employee and spouse. Or, you know, you may already have them on here. It says uh, family premium, you have 54. Well, I've got a 27-year-old daughter, but if I had a 20-year-old daughter, and that's family. Me, my wife, one child. My 23-year-old daughter come back on. The premium doesn't change because that's family. It's employee, spouse, and as many children as you want. Where if my example was single, employee, premium, plus children, there's only seven. But you may not even notice the increased maximum liability if someone has a family and they had someone who graduated from college two years ago now they're 24, then come back on the plan. Okay, Indiana, I thought we were in Indiana had a 26 year old. No, so you have to be in college till age 25. You don't have to be in college or nothing. And, and uh, we, we use the, the, this is your plan. We use the highest number age for being in college. But if you're 21 and you're not in college, you're not on your plan. That same person can come back and be on your plan January 1. In other words, when we, we used to be insured before we went with uh, some of these third party administrators who paid claims, we used to be partially self funded with one of those anthems, 